Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. It has been such a long time since I uploaded. It has been well over a month. I have so much to catch you guys up on and I am ready to just have like a chitty chatty video. <laughs> if you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Jessa. I primarily do cleaning motivation on this channel. Uh, sometimes I mix it up with some cooking, but I would say 99% of the time I do cleaning motivation. So first things first, I apologize if you can hear some banging or like, I I don't know, it sounds like I there's bowling going on in the background of this voiceover. My kids and my husband are upstairs right above me and they're playing dinosaurs and they are running around like crazy people. So I apologize if you guys hear that in the background, but everything is fine. They are just having a good time. So to jump right into it, let's start with what I'm doing in today's video. So in today's video, we are finally making progress in Evelyn's room. So Evelyn is my 10 year old and we recently redid her room. It was uh, like princess bubblegum pink and we painted it in September. So almost a year ago, which is crazy to say that. Um, <laughs> And unfortunately, her room was just kind of like a mess for a while. The furniture that we wanted from Ikea was out of stock for like six months. Um, and the craziness with the holidays and after the holidays, and like I said, we'll catch up. I'll catch you guys up on everything that's been going on around here. Uh, her room has kind of been put on pause, but we are finally making some progress. We got her furniture in. We have it built. Uh, we still have to do one more piece of furniture. We bought her a desk, so we still have to put that together. But the big one I'm doing today, which is her bureau or her dresser. Uh, so in Evelyn's room, I am taking all everything out. Uh, there is so much stuff, especially end of the school year. She cleaned out her desk and just brought so many folders home full of schoolwork and just so much stuff that needed to get sorted. So unfortunately, that just kind of ended up all over her room, all over her bureau, which is what you guys are looking at now. So I am honestly just going to be doing like a quick declutter and organize of just this entire room. And a lot of it I'm just like putting in boxes and moving out into the hallway. My big project for today and today's video was to just get her old bureau out of the room and get all of her clothes and everything from her old bureau moved into her new bureau. So that is what I'm doing in today's video. I'm also taking down the shelves and I'm gonna be kind of organizing her bed, making it nice and pretty. There's still a lot more to do in her room, um, so stay tuned. We still have to do her closet. Her closet is just as bad. Uh, so that'll be in my next couple videos. I'm not sure when, but her closet is like 100% on my list. After Evie's room, then I'm going to finish this video out in the kitchen. I just wanted to give my kitchen a good once over. It's not anything deep, you know, no deep cleaning or anything. Um, I would say really the focal point for today's video is getting Evelyn's room sorted. Like I said, there's still a lot more to do. You'll definitely see it in my next couple videos. Uh, but yeah, so after Evelyn's room, we're going to head into the kitchen. So for right now, while I'm cleaning, I'm just going to set, like I said, sit here and chitty chat with you and talk to you guys about what's been going on, why I have uploaded in like a month and yeah let's just catch up so I don't even remember the last time I uploaded I think it was the end of May uh, but I guess we'll start with something really exciting so Luca is two I cannot believe it he turned two the first week in June I cannot believe that I have a two-year-old and uh, as I said Evelyn she's not quite 10 yet Evelyn's turning 10 at the end of July so I, I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe how fast time goes. So that was crazy just getting him settled and having his birthday party. Birthday parties are always really stressful for me. I think every parent can relate that just, it gets a little crunk around birthday parties and you want to make sure that everything's good and it just, it can be pretty stressful. So we had that and then I'm not going to lie, honestly, we have just been so sick. I never expected us to be this sick in the month of like June. Like I thought cold and flu season was over, but like right after I posted that video in May, we got like two just like plain old, I guess, head colds like back to back. Like Luca came home from daycare with the head cold. We all got it. And then it was like two or three days of like us feeling good. And then we all got sick again. So I'm assuming it was just like two little head colds back to back. Um, and then... 
most recently, we all had double pink eye. <laughs> that was not fun. So Evie came home with double pink eye, and then I got it, and then Luca got it. Uh, Chris was the only one that did not get double pink eye, which is crazy. Like, it's always mom that gets sick. Like, I don't know what it is about dads, but like, at least in our house, Chris is always the one that never, he never gets sick, like once in a while. Um, but I get everything, every single thing that the kids get, I have. And Chris is super involved with the kids. Like, it's not like I'm the only one that takes care of them when they're sick. Like, he gets up in the middle of the night with me. Like, he is a super, like, involved dad. So there's no way that he's, like, not exposed to these things, you know. But it's just kind of funny that, like, he never gets anything. Um, <laughs> so we're all feeling better. We were honestly sick for, like, six weeks. It was just back to back. Like I said, we got over the head colds, and then Evelyn had double pink eye. I had double pink eye and, like, seasonal allergies, like, together. So I was truly sick for, like, two or three weeks. It was crazy. Uh, and then, like I said, most recently, little man got it. He, everybody's a lot better. Thank goodness. But it's just been wild. I, I really can't believe that we were all so sick in June. I, it just, it felt like cold and flu season. As a quick side note, uh, I actually don't know if I caught it on camera, but <laughs> there was a moment with this Ikea dresser that I was trying to open two drawers at the same time. I kind of didn't even think about it just to have two drawers open so I could put stuff in the drawers. Um, and we don't, this is our first like Ikea um, dresser that we've had. We have the short ones, but we've never had like a tall one like this one. And um, they have all the anti like tip mechanisms in them so you actually can't open two drawers at once with these you have to close one before you can open another one that's just like a tidbit I don't know if I caught it on camera but I thought the dresser was broken and I was really upset I was like why can't I open this stupid drawer <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just so you know, we did not bolt this to the wall yet. Don't worry. We absolutely are doing that. Luca really isn't allowed in Evelyn's room anyway. Evelyn's room really isn't baby proofed or toddler proofed. Um, so we keep the door shut. So I'm not worried about like Luca, you know, getting in there or anything like that. Uh, we have his dresser bolted to the wall in his room, but this one is not. But I know that I need to do that for sure. So in any case, back to the life updates. So in between all of that, of just being so sick for so long, we're all feeling better, like seriously, knock on wood. Um, honestly, I have just been trying my best to like manage my own sanity and <laughs> and just keep myself afloat. Uh, if you guys are brand new here, I have a little series on my channel that only went for about six weeks. It was called Project Comeback. I have the playlist. Um, it's usually right at the top of my page. But I started that January 29th and I was just ready to like take control of my life and take control of my health. I had some pretty bad pre-diabetic numbers. I have gained about 25 pounds um, and it has been really difficult to keep those habits and to, again, like I said, maintain my sanity when we have all been so sick and no one is sleeping. <laughs> So when we finally all feel better and I have like a moment, I just really choose to just like refocus on my health and I tend to kind of just like, I have to push everything else aside, which is why I haven't uploaded in such a long time. Um, I'm really just trying my best to prioritize like my exercise, prioritize meal prepping. Uh, and that's honestly, that is a big reason as to why I haven't uploaded is that was like kind of the whole point of me doing Project Comeback is because I really did have to like rearrange my entire life and I really had to choose myself first and make myself a priority and everything else had to go back on the back burner. Uh, to give you guys a quick update on Project Comeback, if you watched those videos, uh, I haven't been great. <laughs> like I said, we were all so sick. We were sick for like six weeks. Um, but I feel like the past couple weeks, I've really been in a good routine and I'm really happy. I've been getting my workouts in again. I have been meal prepping. I've been very mindful of what I've been eating. Of course, over the 4th of July weekend, I definitely partied. It was a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, I got right back on track and I'm feeling a lot better. I I wouldn't say that I have 
really too many like um, physical changes in my body. Like I'm not sure if you would look at me and be like, oh, wow, you've been working out. Um, I haven't really lost that much weight. I've only lost about eight pounds, which is, hey, that's still great. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, but overall, I feel a lot better. I have a lot of less, like a lot less aches and pains than I did. I don't really have any lower back pain anymore, which is really nice. And I still have some worrisome numbers that go into the pre-diabetic and diabetic ranges. But overall, on like the aggregate, my numbers are improving. So that's awesome. That like, that was the whole point of Project Comeback, and that makes me really, really happy. And as far as uploading more regularly, it's always on my list. I still want to show up here on YouTube, and I still want to upload on this channel. Uh, I have thought about doing some new series uh, on my channel, um, but I, I don't want to make any commitments just because, I don't know, I'm kind of a little scarred. <laughs> of like how the past two months have gone and how crazy things got for us. And I don't want to commit to an upload schedule um, and then not be able to deliver. A big one for me is I was thinking about starting a decluttering series or a deep cleaning series, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was thinking of naming it something like reclaiming my space, like episode one or something like that. But there's a lot of spaces in my home that really need to be deep cleaned and decluttered. And I know a lot of people don't like, I don't know if they don't like, but just like the craziness of the summer, like they don't do a lot of heavy cleaning in the summer. But for me, like now through to like October, I would say are like my biggest cleaning months. I feel like after October, nothing happens because then you're just like in the holidays. Um, and even maybe even a little bit before October and September, things start to get a little crazy. Uh, my birthday is actually the beginning of October and just back to school. So I live in New England. So um, I know a lot of people go back to school like in August, but we actually don't go back to school until like the last week of August or um, sometimes it's actually after Labor Day. So things can get a little crazy in the fall. And I've thought about just kind of like powering through like in the month of uh, August and like decluttering some spaces. Pretty much all of our closets need it. Um, our downstairs definitely needs it. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Like I said, I was thinking about starting a series. I, I don't know, it'd be like probably three or four episodes. Um, but yeah, let me know if that's something that you guys would watch or if you guys are interested in it. So I'm actually wrapping up Evelyn's room. Um, I got what I needed to get done. Like I said, there is a lot more to do in this room. So I'm just putting everything back that I kind of like organized and put into some boxes. I needed Evelyn's help with a lot of that. Uh, but that's going to be it for Evie's room. And I'm going to move on into the kitchen. Um, I'm actually really happy with how this room turned out, even though it's like only 50% done. I feel like I got a lot done and we're just, we're ready. Um, so I am going to be filming it. Like I said, her closet is definitely on my list. That probably will be my next couple of videos. I think I already said that. <laughs> so I'm going to actually wrap up talking. I have been talking for a little bit and honestly, I'm losing my voice and I need to go drink some water. The last thing that I want to tell you guys and the reason I've taken a step back from YouTube, aside from all of the sickness, is I actually launched an Etsy shop. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. If you do not follow me on Instagram, uh, you do not. Um, I actually haven't even officially announced it on Instagram. I have my Etsy shop open. You guys are the first to hear it. I have my Etsy shop open, but I'm still um, stocking the shop and I'm still adding items weekly. Uh, and I haven't announced it on Instagram. I wanted to make sure I have like a full stock before I announce it on Instagram. Um, definitely check the description. If you're interested, if you'd like to purchase anything, it would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, it is a macrame shop. I taught myself to macrame when I was pregnant with Luca and I took uh, definitely some time off, but I would say the past six to eight months I have been back and I have been really enjoying it and I've been learning new patterns and it's been such a fun like project. So I decided to start selling on Etsy. Um, you guys, especially on Instagram, are always so supportive and everybody was like, no, absolutely, like do the Etsy job, do it. 
So I did it. I'm really excited, but it has taken a lot of my time. It, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes for starting an Etsy shop and just having a back stock. And like I said, just all the stuff that goes on in the background of taking pictures and videos and filling out description boxes and titles and there's just a lot. So like I said, I'll have it linked in the description box. If you guys would like to check it out, it would mean the world to me. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, for the rest of this video, it's just going to be me cleaning the kitchen. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of resetting the kitchen back to what it should be. I'm going to let some music play for the rest of this video and I'm going to go get some water. <laughs> I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I will see you in my next video. I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Through the day to the evening, without shouting and screaming, something new to me. Alone without being lonely.